Hey what's up guys it's the year welcome to the second episode of welcome to india in this video i'm going to welcome the blackberry k1 of course the blackberry k1 is not yet launched in india but i have super rich friends like kartike who get me such phones so blackberry k1 welcome to india shit let's get started when i first saw the phone the design got me the design of the phone really stands out the glass curving on to the edges the metal frame and the plastic rubbery back looks really stunning the phone is robust and solid and can handle daily abuse the blackberry key one proves that you don't need to be all glass or all metal to look beautiful the phone comes in with a mid range snapdragon processor which is a snapdragon 625 and is coupled with 3 gigs of ram and 32 gigs of internal storage which i believe are not industry standards for a phone to be defined as a flagship device most flagships nowadays are coming in with at least 4 gigs of ram and the snapdragon 835 which is the latest processor qualcomm is offering so all i can say that the blackberry can handle all the day to day tasks with moderate usage without any lag um the chip the, that is the snapdragon 625 focuses more on the battery life part rather than the performance if you're looking for a device which is having the same price point and you're looking for the performance part then you have the OnePlus 3D the OnePlus 5 which is soon to be uh, launching here in India as well and also the S8 or the S8 Plus whichever you like The BlackBerry flagship has a 4.5 inch 1620 by 1080 IPS LCD display with 433 pixels per inch that is the pixel density. It has a rubbery textured plastic back which was common in BlackBerry since day 1. And BlackBerry hasn't yet got rid of its physical keyboard but this keyboard is improved a lot. Remember gesture typing in your Android phone? Yes, we got this on the key one. That's really surprising to see and it's awesome too. If you type something by mistake, you can swipe left from the backspace key to delete the error. That means that there's no space for error on the BlackBerry key one. The space bar doubles up as a fingerprint scanner and the keyboard as a trackpad. The fingerprint reader is pretty accurate and fast. The BlackBerry Key One runs on Android seven point one with some BlackBerry customization and some unique BlackBerry apps, which just come in together really well and provide a really nice user interface. And it's really close to stock Android, which is what I really like about the software part of the BlackBerry Key One. Talking about the ports, this phone has a 3.5 mm headphone jack on the top with a USB Type C sandwiched between a speaker and a microphone on the bottom side. USB Type C gets us fast charging and it is future proof. So let's talk about the camera. The BlackBerry Key1 has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera with f2.0 with face detection or focus and can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. On the front side we have an 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 and can shoot 1080 videos uh, 30 frames per second. It's got all the necessary sensors and also an NFC chip inside. Well, the phone is pretty much thick and they could have included a wireless charging pad inside the phone. So according to MKBHD, poise is space. So overall, I'll rate this phone a 3.5 out of 5. which gets us to the conclusion that this is a decent phone but if you're looking for performance and a flagship phone you shouldn't go for this one so yes that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it do show your support by hitting that like button and smashing that subscribe button for many more such videos